Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 room. Today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. But before we get into that guys, I want to say a massive, massive thank you as we're already at 7,100 subs. It's literally been, uh, let's see here, it's been about four days and we're already at another 100 up. That is absolutely insane. Just a massive, massive thank you to all. And, um, hopefully next video I have um, part two of the uh, 7,000 special out. But yeah, it's absolutely crazy. We're already at 7,100. I mean, damn, just... Uh, massive thank you to everyone who's recently joined and everyone who sticks around um, coming back every time. Just a massive, massive thank you to you all. But yeah, let's get into today's video. So yeah, we've got one system here um, from Nintendo. You see um, it's this system here. Um, so yeah, we'll just get straight into it. He left me a document to read as well. So I've got that up as well. So here it is here. So located in the um, Autismo Galaxy in the Wismo constellation. Lies in a small system. Very odd planets. And there we go. There he is there. Um, so yeah, let's go um, remove that and yeah, we'll just head straight to the star and um, begin. So this is Arcus. I think the system's also named the Arcus system as well. Yeah, the Arcus system. So um, here we go. Okay, so Arcus is the star. That's all he's got written down for that. So there are its stats right there. So pretty luminous as you can see. 36 um, right there. 36 suns. All right. Oh, we've got some um, pretty interesting names here. Okay, so the first planet. Let's see what we got here. So Polyus. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so here it is here. Mercury-like object. Pretty small. Pretty um, warm in temperature as well. So what has he wrote down for that? Okay, so created by Anthony. Several life-sustaining planets have decided to carve up this planet into small mining colonies. From the outsider's perspective, it looks like a very dull, boring planet. Not to capture. So full of vine and rich materials. So it is kind of like Mercury. Um, owned by intergalactic nations. It has a small rune around it as well. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm liking the um, little... Um, information he's got about this all right next up we've got Ert here this one's pretty funky in color so here it is here nice blue trail for it as well so going reddish um pinkish color there with a bit of blue so um this is created by adam an odd blue slash red earth size world people say it was named this way because it has the same stats as the earth oh okay on the purple mountains you can um find many good memes from a civilization gone or one such text reads. The last thing you want in your Burger King is someone's foot fungus. <laughs> How inspiring. Okay, pretty, uh, pretty interesting text document he's got right here. So, yeah, there it is there. And, yeah, it is the stats of Earth. You can see right there. I'm guessing the life stats will be different, though. But 88% Earth similarity. Rightio. So, there's that one. All right, next up, we've got Nemo over here. So, I'm guessing this is fair, um, of based off Finding Nemo. So, here, here it is. So, going over red and white like a clownfish. So yeah, about the about the size of Jupiter there. It's got a moon as well right here. This is Marines. So there we go. I do like that gas giant actually. That does look pretty cool. Nice color mix in there. So okay, created by um Gerald or uh, Garrod. Okay, so it's pretty. Um, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, a small water world. Oh no, wait, hang on. Oh okay, small water world orbiting Nemo, named after the fish of the same name. It is surprising that these two were found together to give it such a um good name. Okay, All right. Such a um, okay. I'm just reading that again, All right? Cool. All right, I just have to get my head around that. I thought I misread something, so yeah, there's Nemo. Okay, so next up, we got um, Dusk Joe, the guy who made the system. Okay, so here's his object right here, going with a bright magenta color with um, earth like um, looking like underneath. So there's its stats, pretty um, pretty decent for it. So there we go. So like a um, foresty like um, color underneath that, about 30 degrees. Pretty warm, actually, um, right there. All right, so created by me. Okay, so a small inhabited world with a pink atmosphere. When you start, even at the moon, it looks like a sunset pink sky. Many TV shows and pictures are taken here because of the beauty of the sky in the background. Okay, let's land on this guy, see if we get a cool-looking view. Um, we have to land under the cloud somewhere, so let's try landing here. All right, so I'm going underneath. Let's look at the nice pink sky. So there you go. You can see a bit of it there. So it's not one of those super bright cloudy ones. So it doesn't completely cover it up. But you can see there's a pretty nice um, pink clouds hovering around here. I still can't believe they haven't added skies into the game yet. But that's one thing I would love to see, like Space Engine as well, as having actual skies on the planets. All right. Next up, we've got this one over here. So this is Roll Roletta. Rolletta. Made by Barry. Yeah. So going with a big cyan sort of coloured atmosphere there. Cyan blue. Then we got Popland here. So this is a. Uh, I think this is frozen over or something that may be glitched because 73 degrees and it's frozen. That doesn't seem right. Okay, so it's meant, I think it's meant to look like that because it even it already said 0% water, but it had water on it. That's pretty strange. So that's what it's meant to look like. Right, then we've got this one over here. 
lit land over here and this is a pretty volcanic looking object as you can see so there's that all right what's the uh wrote down for these guys right so um created by barry a thick dense forested world with few lakes dotted around it. instead of human-like creatures it has large owls ready to pick out your eyes and gobble them down it has water world named poplin filled with blue fogs and a fire world named litland um perhaps because it's so lit on fire 24 7 righty oh so there's that right now we're moving on to sin over here by kyle Right, so here it is here, pretty rainbow looking gas giant, very nice. So yeah, magenta, yellow and green coloured gas giant right there. It's got a moon as well, as you can see here. So here we go. I do like that gas giant, and this one's pretty earth-like as well. Let's check the uh, stats on this guy. So it has a pretty heavy ATM, the life stats 91 and 24 right there. Okay, cool. I'm liking. I like the color blending on that as well. Plenty of different shades of color. I got like a more pale, sandy color right here. Then you got the green as well. So pretty cool. Right. So let's see what the document says about this. Okay. So created by Carl, one of the only gas giants in the system. It looks like it has spilled paint all over it. It's a very nice gas giant. Yeah, it definitely is. Very nice gas giant to take a picture of when standing on its moon. Tropical world orbiting nearby. Scientists think it is mostly um, a desert world until it's. Uh, mine changed and grew jungles and farm trees. Okay, so let's um, land on the surface here and get a cool view of the gas giant. So there we go. Let's go under here. See the blue clouds very nicely as well. So gas giant, where you at? So we're going to click play. Try and spoil it. So there it is there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Looks really cool. The clouds are cool the way they move as well on this. Um, but yeah, speed up a bit. So there we go. So there is, there's a cool shot of it right there. Maybe I'll use it for the thumbnail or not. I don't know. But um, yeah, there you go. Looking pretty cool indeed with the um, gas giant there. Oh, yeah. That is a nice looking... I do like those colours together. That is a pretty unique gas giant there. So, right. There we go. Let's pause it up and move on to the next system. So, let's zoom out. Right. Next up, we've got Buell over here. So this is made by Nadine. So, here we go. So, let's zoom in on it. So, a pretty dark blue and black world here. So, there we go. Similar size to Earth on this guy as well. Right. So, the text document for this one. Okay. It created by nadine often paired with earth for its odd coloration it is a lovely blue planet filled with rare mineral named nerdosaurium often exported to earth okay so there we go right earth was the planet a lot closer to the sun as well um so right there we go right back into universe sandbox righty oh let's see what we have got next right, it's got a bit of a gap so we're going over to unit two over here um maroon randolph here we go so it's a sort of military green looking gas giant by the looks of it. Pretty big in size as well. So there's its colour, like an olive yellow green colour. So there it is. Also got some moons. So we've got Bip over here. Looking good. Nice blue on that. Bluish purple. So there we go. And we've got Boop over here. Is it Beep Boop Beep? <laughs> so yeah, we've got this one. So Beep Boop Poke. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then we've got a nice yellow one at the end here. So there we go. Right. So what does it say about this guy? Right. So Unit 2, created by Randolph. Marilyn is a brown dwarf and failed to become a star, um, if you call it a star, however. Um, it would have three planets of its own, beep, boop, and poke. Each planet is colored slightly off, so it triggers people with OCD. It also keeps a um, rogue icy planet from flying off into space. Okay. Right, and then we're on to the last object now. So this is the frozen planet, I'm guessing. Over here, so it's a all white planet with a white atmosphere as well. I do like the objects with white atmospheres. Um, created by David, this icy world is kept in orbit by Maron. Yeah, the one we just looked at. A small intergalactic quality of Germans live on this planet. Okay, um, they say they got help from the Kerbals from the nearby Kerbal system. Okay, cool. And it says thanks for taking a look. Well, you're welcome. So um, yeah, there is the full system of this one. So yeah, the unit um, unit system as it's called on here, but um, yeah, also known as the Arcus system. So, yeah, there we go, guys. I do like the colour trails. This probably got to be one of the best ones, the colour trails we've seen. So, yeah, pretty nice. All right. Good, good. All right, so that is all of that system done. All right. I think he's actually got another one in the works right now. I did actually message him at the start saying, um, have you got a second one? But I think he's still working on it now, so we've only got one to do um, today, sadly. But I had him down on my list to do, so I thought I'd... um get him done for this so right anyways that is it for today's episode guys so if you um like this video make sure to hit that like button down below let us know what you think of the system as well so i've got to say some pretty cool objects favorite gas giant is definitely this one right here with a close second of the nemo i do like that one i have to say that is pretty cool looking favorite rocky planet for me i think it would be this one here honestly i do like the way the color blends on that definitely really cool so yeah they're my um top two for this system guys let me know um, what you think down below as well and you also um 
I don't think I've got a link to his YouTube channel, so if you want to make yourself be known in the comments, go ahead. I can copy that and paste that um, if you want me to. Um, just let me know. But um, yeah, that is that, guys. So let's um, yeah, let's. Um, Oh, I just had a complete, um, I'm not very good at outros, but yeah, let's also see if we can try and get to 8,000 subscribers within the next month or so, that'd be awesome, I mean, it's already gone up 100 in less than a week, so maybe by the end of next month, we could have 8,000 already, so yeah, just subscribe if you're new, helps on the journey to that, because that is absolutely crazy, and hopefully next video will be the part two to the 7,000 special, and yeah, that's about everything I wanted to say, guys, so yeah, make sure you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.